Afternoon for the final time, Gary. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, fascinating weekend, of course, at the bottom. You're one of three sides that play a big part in the relegation battle in the Premier League. Spurs, uh, West Ham and obviously yourself. What's the approach from you as the Bournemouth manager? Yeah, just uh, not really looking at any other thing, any other part of the picture other than our own. Like we, As I've said, we've been on 39 points for a while and... We've given our best in, in our last three games, done our best to, to try and add to that. Um, two of the performances were good. Uh, Crystal Palace one, not so good. So we're looking to just go and be yeah, ourselves, try and put in a real good showing, um, finish the season on a high. Um, so yeah, obviously Everton's situation and the situation involving Leeds and Leicester is something that I'm obviously aware of because we were involved in it for, for a big part of the season. But... Um, yeah, as, as of this moment and up until tomorrow, just pure focus on us, how we can get three points and um, add to our tally, which is important to us. How do you prepare the side mentally for an occasion like this? Because the Everton fans will make this an occasion. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a really good test for us. I'm looking, looking forward to seeing where we are in it, um, how we cope with what the atmosphere may look like, how we cope with what Everton are as a side, because very direct, ask a lot of questions of you. Um, we've struggled with things like that in the past. The West Ham game here, similar, direct side. Um, so, yeah, Everton will be direct. The atmosphere will be tough. And what a great opportunity for the for the players to, to go and show what a good side we are, see how well we can stand up to the questions that, that are no, undoubtedly going to be asked of us. Um, so a real good marker for me with last game of the season, going into a, um, yeah, a summer break and then pre-season to just see where we are against um, yeah, what will be a real good test. Obviously you'll go to Goodison Park and potentially could send Everton down. How does it sit with you to potentially be the villain? Yeah, I don't think we are the villains. If, if we win a game of football at Everton, I'm sure other teams have done that just because we do it at the end. Yeah, I don't see us as, if we win the game, I don't see it as us that sent them down. Um, but a lot of things need to happen still, even if they do lose for them to go down. But um, yeah, whoever goes down on Sunday, it, it won't be Sunday that relegated them. Obviously, there's a whole season of work that goes into staying in the Premier League, so a lot of things that have happened. Um, yeah, and as I say, my only concern is our team and where we are in a, in a tough contest. And I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to finding out some more about the group. Obviously, you could finish as high as 13th in the Premier League or as low as 16th, which would affect the club's final income to the tune of nine or ten million pounds, which is significant. How important is it for you, though, that you finish as high as you can to almost start next season on that front foot and with that that buzz and positivity? Yeah, I think from head coach's point of view, of course, you're aware of financial implications of staying in the league and where you finish. But um, that was never a sort of motivating thing for me. The whole way through the season, it was always what the players need, what they look like. Um, how well we can perform, how well we represent what I believe in. Um, and that will be the case on, on Sunday, of course. A win and climb into 13th would be great for everybody at the club. It would also be great for me and the players to see that we've, we've gone to a real tough place and, and put in a real good showing to, to, beat, a, to beat a side that are, that are desperate to win in, in front of their home fans. So, yeah, I, I'll be focused more on the football side of it. But, of course, from a club point of view, going into a summer where um, we'll try and do some stuff on the transfer front, um, finishing higher up the league and financial implications would be would be beneficial. You've been in football for a long time. Do you have any memories of end of season matches where you've been involved with teams that are going to fall one side of the line? Do you have any memories of sort of sending seat sides down or being involved in those kind of moments? I remember West Brom beating us at Portsmouth to stay up um, that year. Um, Portsmouth fans were desperate for us to lose because it was Southampton that were involved with West Brom that year so um, it was a tricky one as players because we were obviously still desperate to, to win and play the game as we always do but um, yeah Portsmouth fans cheering every time West Brom scored against us which was strange um, but yeah that's the only real time I've been involved in one apart from ones that I've obviously been involved in with my own team and um, yeah, Portsmouth, where we managed to stay up at Wigan. Obviously, it was the day before, the last day, but some good days. And then other ones where we didn't quite make it. Norwich, obviously, relegated with them. So, um, yeah, they're tough. You know, those last, last games of the season when you're involved in it, um, when you're the ones that can go down and, 
trying to stay really focused on what's happening here as well as the you hear noises around what's going on elsewhere so yeah as a neutral I'm sure it'll be an exciting day for you all Big weekend as well for Bournemouth not only the Cherries finishing their Premier League campaign but Chris Billam Smith fighting on the pitch at the Vitality Stadium which will be a, a first for, for the stadium what have you kind of taken from all of the things that have been happening around him and his success and the journey that he's been on and obviously a massive Bournemouth fan yeah, I think it's fantastic for the area. Obviously, yeah, Chris is a big fight for him on Saturday. Disappointed, obviously, that we, we can't be here to support him because we'll be up in, in Liverpool. But, um, yeah, we, we wish him all the best. I've just, just walked through the, the stadium there and it looks incredible. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of exciting things happening, as we know. Training ground, um, boxing at the stadium, progression in the squad, managed to stay in the Premier League. So, yeah, a, a real good year for the club on and off the pitch. Um, and yeah, we we wish wish Chris all the best. Hopefully, we can um, we can have a double this weekend of Chris and and Bournemouth winning. Thanks. Gary. Thanks. Hi, Gary. Hi. What sort of game are you expecting? Uh, I would expect Everton to be front foot, high energy, direct. Um, yeah, um, yeah, pretty much what what they've been generally since since Sean has gone in there. Um, I would expect them to try and. Yeah, make it as tough and as intimidating as possible, fans and, and everyone included. So, um, yeah, an, an exciting task for me. Obviously, my, my first time going into something like that as a coach, been into a few as a player, but as a coach, first time going in. Um, and, yeah, get a real good look at um, our group of players in a real tough situation. We've had some already, of course. We've had been to Southampton and uh, won here against Leeds and been to some real tough places, but this one will be... Yeah, we'll probably be on the extreme version of that because of how much it means to, to Everton and the size of the football club. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to, to what will be a real big test and seeing how the group can cope. I think the last time they won on the final day, you were on the pitch playing for Norwich back in 2016. Yeah. Talking your memory bank now. Yeah, I think we were relegated the game before, were we? Um, yeah, we had a tough run in. I think Man United was in there for us. We, I think we lost to Man United at home and that was pretty much us done. And then went to Everton last game. Um, yeah, so, I, I mean, I played there a lot of times. It's a tough place to go, even back as far as when David Moyes was there. I remember playing there and thinking, yeah, it's a tough place to go. They really test you. They have um, very vocal support, um, close in stadium, not like some of the new new modern ones where they're a fair distance from the pitch. So it feels like a real, real intense atmosphere. And, um, yeah, can't wait. Really looking forward to it. And they've been in the top flight for 69 consecutive years. If you were in Sean Dyche's shoes, how would you try and alleviate that kind of pressure from, the, from your group? I, I think he's done a decent job of doing that already. I think the, the win at Brighton and the position they find themselves in on the last day, a lot, a lot of things need to happen now for them to, to be relegated. It's in their own hands. Um, so, yeah, some, some good work that's gone into to making sure that it is still in their own hands. Um, of course, they'll be... Yeah, well up for the game. Um, I'm guessing Sean will be telling them to treat it like any other game and try and expose our weaknesses and use their strengths as as most teams do. Um, and we'll be going there trying to give everything we can to to end the season on a high because the players have given an awful lot this year. So um, to end it with a real good representation of us and the work we put in would be um, yeah would be beneficial going into the summer. How critical do you see set pieces being, and what have you tried to do to mitigate their threat? Yeah, they're yeah. They're, I mean, they're probably their biggest threat. Um, like very direct from Jordan Pickford, big threat. Um, and then the set plays that they get from being direct and asking questions of you, yeah, they're they're, they're difficult to deal with. So, a bit of work this week on it. Um, I think we've conceded a few, obviously against West Ham, and um, but since. We've changed the structure in January, I think. it's. I think we're sort of mid-table, 10th, 11th for set play goals against. So we've made a big improvement over the course of the season. Still, numbers look terrible, of course. But, um, yeah, recent since the change of structure in set plays, we've done OK. But it will be a big test. Of course, we've we've, we've conceded a lot of goals and Everton have, have scored a lot of goals from Swiss City, especially since Sean's been there. So, um, yeah, it will be a big test. But, again, looking forward to seeing how the boys can, can handle it. Just finally, team news, how are you looking? Uh, Philip Billing should be back involved, hopefully, um, after his back issue um, last weekend. Junior Traore, we're hoping, but um, not sure yet. Um, 
Joe Rothwell similar, hoping that he's involved. But um, but yeah, we're still too early to confirm. We have to do some obviously another training session to go tomorrow. See how they come through. Um, but yeah, hopeful that we'll be yeah we'll be as close to straw, uh, full strength as as possible. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Right. Thank, Thank you. you.